Good evening, boys and girls. Let's play Shantae for the Game Boy Color. I'm Brickard. I'll be your player this evening. And this is an absolutely marvelous game that came out for the Game Boy Color, and you've never played it. In fact, you've never heard of it. Just don't, don't pretend like you have. Don't try to act all cool. You've never seen this game before in your life. And the reason you've never seen this game before is because it came out about six months after you and everybody else in the world threw away the Game Boy Colors and all went out and bought Game Boy Advances. Well, sucks for Shantae, I suppose, but it really is a great game, and we're going to play it now. Uh, Shantae is a genie who lives in Scuttletown, and, well, as you can see, she fights pirates. And you know what? Really, if you want to win me over in a game, seriously, start some pirates. Opening cutscene, put pirates on the screen. That's just... Oh, that's that's not good. That's another pirate attack. It's, it's, it's a plague on the seventh sea here. All right, here's Shantae. She's a, as you can see, pretty typical platformer. I can run and jump. I've got a hair attack. And, ooh, got hit by cannonball. This is the uh, first platforming section here. I've got a menu as well. Eventually I'll fill this up with items, I imagine. Uh, the little blue guy blinking at the top of the screen, that's a warp squid. I have to collect those to warp around the world. I don't remember what the little monkey bird things are. That's interesting. I press B and go over to my dance menu. Dance is a major game mechanic later on in this game. Uh, all of Shantae's little magic spells that she does uh, are powered by the magic of dance. Dance magic, if you will. Uh, an archaic form of magic pioneered in the 1980s by David Bowie and puppets. Wow, that's the geekiest reference I think I've ever put in a Let's Play video to date. That's... I think I might have my license revoked for that one. Let's see, what do I have on screen here? I don't remember what that little flashing out sign is. And it looks like I've got potions, like a, a little face. Hmm. No coins. This must be a cutscene. Yep, this is going to introduce us to the villains. The horrible little pirate guys who we will very, very soon be destroying en masse. We'll be just taking down piles of them. And here's Risky Boots. The evil villainous pirate. The lady pirate. And she's... I'm not going to say nice for a pirate, but... Well, she's got a haul booty. That's great innuendo in this game. And it's my job to stop her. It's my job to stop the pirates. Okay, first level of the game proper is Scuttle Town. And it is going to be overrun with these little pirate dudes, so let us chop them up with my awesome hair attack. I always complain that there's not enough female protagonists in games, and that's one of the reasons that Shantae really appeals to me. And let's face it, she's, she's cute as a button. Just wait till you get to see her dance later on. Oh, uh oh. And when she ducks, she looks like a cat about to pounce. Almost too cute to be in a video game. There are lots of little graphical details in this game. It's amazing that they pumped all this out on the Game Boy Color, really. So, ooh, yeah. Like I said, little graphical details. Now that the town is on fire, everything is going to turn red and orange. Pop out of a barrel, how uncouth. Barrels are known to be for their lack of couthness. Very much uncouth. The aesthetic actually reminds me of the Aladdin games that came out. You, Shantae might as well be running around through Agrabah, it looks like. What other good games have been where you attack with a hair? The only one I could think of was that chicken, Guilty Gear. Well, the flames have gone out, now it's nighttime. Oh, wait a minute. Flames? No flames. Flames? No flames. Interesting. I wonder if that works in real life. Probably not. Oh, they're gonna jump out of that boat. Oh, I knew it. I saw that coming a mile away. Little bouncing coins. That's another indicator of greatness, is when your game has little bouncing coins. Oh, that's cool. Those guys are pounding the wall and making the platforms come in and out. Neat. I have played this game before. I'm not playing it completely blind, but it's been a long time. I think the game came out in, like, uh, 2002, 2003, probably when I played it. And it was funny because... A friend of mine came on Insta Messenger 
and kind of as a large, just introduced me to the game. And within five seconds, I had gone onto the internet and placed my order for it. Oh, cannonballs. I should have seen that coming. I'm not paying any attention to the background, I'm just paying attention to the foreground here. Uh oh, what do we have happening now? A little cutscene the pirates are making off. Don't just stand there and go get them. Throw that bomb at them. Maybe she's not a very effective genie. What's the old man's name? Mimic is the old man's name. He's the old crazy inventor friend of Shantae's. I guess the pirates are called the Tinker Bats. It's kind of, kind of interesting. Ooh, we're gonna get a science lesson later. I'm excited. I love science. I love science almost as much as I love uh, genies that attack pirates with their hair. Okay, seriously guys, all you need to do is you go up to somebody and say, okay, I found this great new game. And they're going to ask me, what's this great new game about? You're going to say it's about a genie who attacks pirates with her magic hair. They will be instantly sold. I wasn't kidding when I told you that I bought this game within five seconds of hearing about it. Because that's all I hear is genie, magic hair, pirates. I was, that was it. There, I got him. And yes, there's another little night, day. Yes, what maybe... Genie magic doing that, causing the sun to rise. Is that they're coming out of that boat? All right. You might notice that this is the first let's play I'm not doing at 150% speed, and it's like I said, I haven't played this game in six years. I'm, I, my practical knowledge of Shantae is actually very small, so it's new to me, as well as you. The difference between me and you is I've actually heard of the game before. This must be the first boss fight. I'm not going to read the dialogue to you, I'm going to assume that uh, you know how to read, so I've got that going for me here. Spank this one extra hard for mommy, that's beautiful. Okay, what, what are we going to do here? We got, oh, cannonballs. This third, come. Okay, attack the cannon. Nope, that didn't work. We have... Okay, it looks like I got a short, mid, and long-range cannonball. Oh, we got a powder keg in there. I gotta wait for the door to open and then hit that powder keg. I'll bet you a buffalo nickel. Little pirates are gonna run out and kill him. Kill him. Yeah, there we go. Powder keg. What if I just stand here if it's a safe spot or... That's pretty safe. Okay. I got this boss battle nailed down. Yeah. I'm ready to do some genie magic here. Haha. It's risky. She just looks very amused that I'm blowing up her boat and killing her little friends. There. Okay. Uh, oh, crap. There's part two of this boss fight. What do we got here? Little guys kind of... And just hit them as they poke their heads out? Okay, I can... I can handle this. I guess they didn't want to throw a very difficult boss right up front, you know? I do remember some of the bosses later in the game being somewhat difficult, so we've got that to look forward to. Sweet! Alright. I blew up the ship. Oh, she's gonna get away on that boat anchor. She's laughing that I blew up the side of you know if someone blew up the side of my ship, I do not think I would be laughing about it. Here's all the people of Scuttle Town. Mayor McTurban, that's his name, is Mayor McTurban. Oh, that's what I'm gonna call him. Oh, Twist. She's only a half genie, guys. She's been misleading us. Let's we'll see if we can get through all this plot exposition here before we have to end this video. Uh, yeah, she's gonna science lesson and tell us what a steam engine is. Then I don't suppose I can skip this because, yeah. He found an ancient vault, strange contraption. 
he's gonna explain how a steam engine works so oh crap my yeah after 10 minutes the uh, screen goes out on this computer <laughs> I don't know if it'll actually record the blackness or not but we'll find out together viewers Come on, I just want to get to the save point now. No problem. I will have just enough time to get to the save point and end this video. We'll explore all these places at a later date. I, I don't know, not item shop, dummy. She's not doing what I want her to do. Get out of here. Save room, here we go. Okay, this has been part one of Let's Play Shantae. We're gonna have fun together, viewers. Game has been saved. See you next time, guys.